In the attic of my childhood home, amidst forgotten relics of years gone by, there sat a doll. Its porcelain face frozen in a permanent smile, its glassy eyes seemed to follow me wherever I went. My parents had inherited it from a distant relative, and I had always felt a sense of unease whenever I caught sight of it. As the years passed, strange occurrences began to plague our household. It started innocently enough, a misplaced item here, a strange noise there. But soon, the disturbances escalated, and the doll seemed to be at the center of it all. I would wake in the dead of night to the sound of tiny footsteps echoing through the halls, only to find the doll sitting at the foot of my bed, its expression twisted into a sinister grin. I would try to convince myself that it was just my imagination running wild, but deep down, I knew there was something malevolent lurking within its lifeless form. One night, as I lay in bed, I heard the faint sound of music drifting up from the attic. Curiosity mingled with dread, I crept up the stairs, the air thick with anticipation. The attic door creaked open, and there, illuminated by the dim light filtering through the dust-covered windows, stood the doll. Its eyes seemed to glow with an otherworldly light as it swayed back and forth to the haunting melody. I tried to tear my gaze away, to flee from the nightmare unfolding before me, but something held me in place, rooted to the spot as if by invisible chains. And then, with a suddenness that stole the breath from my lungs, the doll turned its head to face me. Its smile widened into a grotesque caricature of joy, revealing rows of razor-sharp teeth gleaming in the darkness. I wanted to scream, to run, but terror had rendered me immobile, a helpless witness to the horror unfolding before me. In that moment, I knew that the doll was no mere plaything, it was a vessel for something far more sinister a conduit for the malevolent forces that had taken root within our home. And as its eyes bore into mine, I felt a chill creeping into my soul, a cold darkness that threatened to consume me whole. I tried to banish the doll from our home, to rid myself of its sinister presence once and for all, but it was always there, lurking in the shadows, watching, waiting. And as the years passed, the doll became more than just a source of fear, it became a symbol of the darkness that had taken hold of our lives a reminder that some nightmares never truly end.